Hello and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carl and Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. We are down to the final two boxes of the season. At the top of the leaderboard right now is Carly with 101 points. Goodness gracious. Mm. We have never seen somebody pull off the championship twice. I know, we're all kind of hoping for it, I, but all we're, we're also kind of hoping we, we pull the illustrator our roaring moon. I know, I, it's like, it's, when it really comes down to it, I would rather pull more rare cards, yeah. but I'm also somebody who loves to subscribe to a dynasty. Yeah. Because it's also just like you're witnessing, you're witnessing I'm history witnessing unfold. I yeah, know, like there's is... people, you know, people will be talking about the show in the future and they'll be like, there was this show, there was this girl. They just, they kept pulling fire. It was the craziest streak of luck anyone's ever seen. And no, yeah, nobody can believe it. Nobody, nobody can, can believe, believe it. it. But, believe but it. it's happening. In the meantime, though, overall on the leaderboard, we have Mots from the Mod team, currently in the quality eighth place position with 40, 40 points. points. Standing alone with 40 points at the moment. The Blue Swede, who we predicted at some point in time could potentially uh, fall their way with 41 points in to eighth place. It's oh, currently in seven. seven so it could so happen. It could happen. It's it's that's the saga that I feel like people are watching. It's oh, like I the know. true underdog story where it's like yeah. we're not we're not even looking for somebody necessarily to like to, to, to be crowned new victor. We're almost looking for someone to take it over that eighth right. place spot. In and the then we've got way. Doe and Marcos are both both have a pack left and are sitting at 35 and 33 points respectively. So yep. both have a great right. shot to knock the blue Swede into eight. Yes, yes. So lots of stuff happening there. In the meantime, if we look for Big Steve on the leaderboard currently. Uh, I do believe we've still got, hang on one second, there's a few people with 20 points overall. Four people at this point, but two people still with packs Pass left, including open. Jeremy and John Moneyman. So we'll be curious to see if we see their packs today. Uh, but without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Let's do it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy. Jay, would you like to do the honors? I'll do it. Here we go. I think we're uh, hoping maybe for water or psychic have been really good this season. Oh, oh we got the eyeball energy! Yay! Oh my Let's gosh, I'm switch so up the boards finally. Here we go. Oh wait, no, do we already have no, no, we need Espeon. Espeon, not oh, Umbreon. Here. Okay, come on, okay. Come on. There, it is. there we go. It's happening. It's happening. I All like right. it. You want to tell them about the randomly chosen common chase cards? Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Pharaoh Seed, Zubat, and Zeb Strike. I always love it when Zubat's in the chase cards because we've seen it before. It has played spoiler. We have seen Zubat. Yeah, absolutely. Like one of it's because it's it's one of those Pokemon that like whenever you're going through Mountain Moon, yeah, it, it's yeah. just like it shows up so relentlessly. Yes. You're like I'm done with the Zubats. And once upon a time, I do believe it played spoiler to a last place position. I think so. They had it and. Then the Zubat showed up. And then the Zubat showed up. And it was just like, and I, oh, it was amazing. It was amazing and awful to bear witness to. Um, but as ever, I personally love a good story. So, you know, if it can happen, it can happen. We'll be on the lookout today to see if it'll happen again. All right. Well, let's get on with it, Ben. Today's first contestant is Karen, Karen. who has got just three points on the season. So, okay. Okay. So, this is, this is one of those situations where we think at the moment there's a possibility that a four point finisher could be in the That's last true. place. So, this is a spot where, where Karen could be aiming for just four points. We've got the Vanillite, the Oricorio, the Swab the Panseer, the Absol, the Simi Sage, still oh, nothing yet and too far, right? Who 
Who said purple was a good color? I know, yeah, yeah right? Not us. Nimble will not score. The or Corio will, will get you a critical hit with a Zekrom. Oh, just a two-point critical hit on the oh, Zekrom. Man, too bad. It could have been exciting, but it wasn't. But it wasn't, so there you go. So Five points um, on the season for Karen. There you go. So probably pushing out of last place contention if it was ever in there in the first place. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, there you go. There's some spoiler action for you on the That's critical right. hit. Ah, Jeez. Not what you want to see. I know you almost had the one point on the Zekrom. All right, next up is Anthony, who is uh, Doe's older son. So, Doe, I don't know if her pack will be in here this uh, particular episode, but we're, we're keeping eyes on her because he's really uh, a big player in the eighth place That's right. category yep, yep. here. So, Chase, last week, uh, Doe's other son picked up 14 points on the third pack. So, let's see okay. let's see what Anthony can do here. All right. We've got Tinkertop. Oh, Tinkertop will score. The Screamtail will score. Professor Sada, Minier, Toxel, Mill, Tank, and oh, Groudon. Groudon. Yeah. So, just three points there as okay. well. So nothing. going to be a boot if I can do the math. Uh, the nine point season. Nothing to write home from college about. Nope, nothing indeed. From Lake Champlain. All right, here we go. Next up is Anna. Anna. This is Anna Anna, right? Anna like, Anna, like the, SCB fan Anna. SCB fan Anna. Yeah. So if Anna famously, uh, for, for quite some time, ran a um, Super Carlin Brothers fan page, which was just so well put together. It was one of my one of my favorite Instagram weekly moments was which which quote from a recent Super yeah. Carlin Brothers video. What would make been, it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, so we got the Toxel. We got the Spinda, the Nimble, the Elegant. I feel like we're seeing a lot of Elegant today. Yeah. The luxurious Cape, the Cyclozar, the Simi Seer, the Brute Bonnet, Wilson. Wilson. Score. The cyclists oh, are critical, we get hit. A critical hit, and the king the drop. Uh, so not really, too much just to play with. Yeah, no, that's that's uh, about it. So four point pack after the multiplier, which is going to give us nine on the season. Man, so two nine so far. How about that? Well, there you go, uh, Anna. Enjoy either which way. All right, next up we've got Aiden, who is coming in with five points themselves. Let's see how we what we can do for them. Maybe a fifteen point pack here. Maybe. What's, What's crazy is that if you got if you pulled the Roaring Moon, you'd be in first. I, it, it is wild. It is like, wild. There is, there is a card that can do it. If you're if you're Carly, I like part of me like if it was me, I'd be like nervous at all times. I'd be like waiting for the next episode to drop just to make sure nobody pulled it. Just holding on. That's all it. it takes. It's just gonna take one person. You wanna know what I would need to know too? If we don't end up pulling it and we end up sending a booster box to Carly, is whether or not she pulls it inside. Oh, that, that would be box. amazing. All right, we've got a three-point pack going here for uh, Aiden. Aiden, yes, yes, yes. indeed. A so couple of, uh, a couple of scoring cards there. That is, that'd be great if Carly wins and then pulls the and then, and then pulls it. Pulls yeah, the yeah. Game so from just home. just for reference, in case Ethan hasn't done it already, Ethan the editor that is, go ahead and throw the the. Um, what is it? The illustrator art yeah, roaring moon roaring up moon on screen, up there, so people so know what see. we're looking for. I know. All right, next up we have another power couple minutes. Stefan and Susie coming in with seven points on the day. And I sure do love when when we get a couple that competes together. It's mm -hmm. just so much fun because it, it just makes me wonder whether or not they like they they pop on the couch, they put it up on the TV, they make an occasion out of watching the episode together to see what they're gonna get. Right, and hopefully I mean, it's gonna be something good. This says they love CrossFit and Pokemon, so I can just imagine they come home from the gym. They're like, hey, you want to play some cards? Of course I do. Of course I do. There we go. We got the Nicket, we got the Glagar, the Blip Bug, the Fue Coco, the Orthworm. The Toad School, the Screamtail will score, yep. the Slitherwing will not, the Phoebus will not. Oh, and the, the, mouse the Mouse Hold will. Let's we'll see it here. Looks, looks a little bulky if you ask me, it but. It does indeed. Let's see. 155, 98 cents. Oh, Once no. Again, it's our terrible rounding card. It is indeed. But it's still a sleeved card for you. you know, and you know, two there's a whole, points. whole right. crew of, of, of mouses in the Mouse Hold that you can right. then share and with that, one another. It's another nine point season coming to a close here for How Stefan about and Susie. That? It's like our third one today. Surprising. All right, next up we have the Bourbonator. Bourbonating who is the country. Boy, that's a great job, Bourbonating. Yes, yes indeed. All right, here we go. Hopefully Bourbonator, maybe they're from Lexington, you know? That'd be cool. Maybe, maybe they bourbon on the on the reg. I can, do you remember the context of, of, I don't even know if maybe it's in Kat's handwriting who helps us prepare for the show, but under our pronouns we have he, him, Mr. Mr. Bourbonator? Mr. Bourbonator! Yes, they call me. 
Crustle Onyx, the Flittable score. score. Nicket, Tulip, Crocolore, Dondozo, the Loudred, the, oh, was that? Oh, Crustle, critical hit! Oh my gosh, there we go! But Again, man, third critical hit of the day already. And look at this, and look, and nine points once again. What is going on today? That is another nine point season and another critical hit. Jeez. No, I feel like we're Super weird for like Verminator. There's invent. like, there's something in the water. I don't know, something, something about these nine points. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. All right, next up, oh boy, Ben. Here we go, it is Ariel Stormborn oh, herself. Look, look, this is second place. And look who's on the cover. Oh, oh wow, the yeah. Roaring Moon is on, of course, of course it is, for the Stormborn. Okay. Here we go. Sitting in second at 48 points. I mean, if anyone could do it, she would need better than 48 points to take the lead. Oh, look at this. The <gasps> oh, no, okay. the drama. Let's see okay, it. I'm okay. so excited. Right, so we got the Vanillish. Okay. Well, Onyx would have been good last week. The Tinka Tinkle, Tinkle score. score. The Charcadet. The Crobat would have scored last a couple week. weeks ago. Yep. The Roarark, the Minior, the yeah, Yamask will score. score. The Grudon does score. And, and the Latios. Oh, so no. They'll score twice at least. So yeah, one, so. two, three, four, five, times and two. Two is just ten. ten so still pretty respectable, honestly. And that's going to bring her to 58. That's a great play. Great. It's a great play. Yeah, very Ariel good. Storm but still only good for second place. Oh, man. man. Yeah, even with a multiplier, I was like, oh, things are about to get crazy up in here. This could be that would have been wild. It. All right, next up, uh, we have got Below Average Gaming Dad. Oh man, I relate mm. to I relate to Below Average Gaming Dad every single time. Aren't we? You aren't know? we? All, I, this is know? this is one of those questions where like your kids will grow up with you as competition. Sure. My daughter will only grow up with me as competition. Yeah, sure, with my kids as competition. Well, that's true too. That's true too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. All right, let's see it. We've got the raucous pummeling here. We've got the pump kaboo and the zubat will score. The natsu, the natsu will score. Will, yeah, God, every single card. The Perlord will not. The defiance vest, the Veluza energy, the durant will not. The blitzel will not, and the garnacle will. So, so four points. Four points there for below average gaming dad Ben. And would you believe it? Nine points nine on the points? season. What Why the is heck? everyone getting nine? It's so weird. It's like it is so weird. That is. I don't like that. Was not a popular score coming in. No, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, I guess we can go down and look. Well, I, there actually are a fair few nines coming in today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. Plus yeah, but extra... only only four of them have opened all three packs. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I don't know yeah. what it is with the nines, but something well, something truly remarkable. Whatever. Is all right. Next up, we have Skill, who's got six points. So I guess I'm expecting a three point pack at this point. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, this is rival of Kurdak McClag. It's, oh it's yeah. Always yeah. makes me laugh. Because the Slytherin Keeper. Yeah. Yep, yep. And Skill. Uh, that's so good. Okay, yep. so we got the yeah, uh, Salad energy. energy. Yep, that's right. The Dwebble, the Horsey, the Joltek, Technical Machine, the Explowed, the Mila, the Spindle will not score, the Honed Edge will not score. Oh, wait, score. wait, wait, but does that, uh, we have two Honed Edges? Oh, but they're different. They're different. Okay, wow. Oh, but look at this! Oh, oh the Garchomp! Rearing its head again. So we've seen this card this month before. This isn't the super duper valuable one, but it is still pretty good. Yeah, $8.71, so it'll round up to, wait for it, nine! nine. <laughs> <laughs> points, gosh, that is the number of the day. Of course, they already had six points, so we'll end at 15. There we go. Instead. Either way, though, I mean, you can't be sad about that card right there. That's, a, that's a great pull. That's so pretty great. Enjoy that. Indeed, there you go. All right, next up we've got Brooke. Brooke! A uh, big time competitor in the past. Possibly puller of one of the biggest single packs ever at 230 points. Yeah, I believe um, Brooke, Brooke won that season, right? Yes, she Ended did back in season so, three. So Brooke so. is, I think, our high points leader of, all, of time. all time. So if we were looking for somebody who come in today with 14 points, that would be looking to throw down. Uh, with Carly, I mean, this this feels this like Brooke would be, yeah. be like your person. Could be, yeah, Brooke, Brooke, this, it'd be so, someday we'll have a repeat champion. I, possibly, you know? yeah. Possibly right. today. So we'll see, but no but well, but no help with the multiplier, at least. The Yamask will score. The Yamask will score, the Spindish, Antal, Garboder, the Ambipom will not, the Dublade will not, and, and the, the Gold Goldango! Oh, we know this one's got some juice on it, but yeah. not, not enough to get to the top of the podium. Let's see, or number anything, but. 139, let's see, as I get through my notes here, is gonna be worth $8.14, so, so nine. also nine points. So <laughs> but but it'll, but yeah, so nine points for Godango, plus one to the MS is 10, which is gonna bring Brooke to 24 on the season. Very respectable. Very respectable indeed, and a nice tie currently with Chase, uh, who we, we talked about earlier, so well done. All right. You're in good company. All right, next up, we've got Jupiter Fox. 
All right, Jupiter. He's got five points so far, so look for a uh, four-point pack here. Four-point pack, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, but it is weird that, like, like even the ones that didn't have nines had nine-point yeah, value yeah, cards, like, <laughs> like, individually. The, the number nine is very present this episode. What? Who is Pokemon number nine? Do you know off the top of your Charizard? head? Charizard? Is it Charizard? Uh, if it's, it's not a Charizard in this set. It's either Charizard or Blastoise. Okay, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. All right, let's see here. So we got the Flittle, which will score. The Trubbish, the Gimme Ghoul will score. The Wiglet, the Simipore, the Zebstrika will score. The Crocolore, the Tulip will not score. The Panpore will not score. And the Thievil will, so, so four, four points. points. <laughs> Did it do it? <laughs> it's nine points, man! Man, <laughs> so what the heck is, what is happening? What is going on? What did I, I am curious, what is, is it, is it Charizard or Blastoise? I'm gonna hold, hold please. Okay, okay, yeah. Elevator Muzak. All right, it's Blastoise. Okay, so Blastoise is number nine, but there is no Blastoise either, right? There is no Blastoise in the yeah. set. Yeah, I was gonna so. say, it feels like feels like whoever nine is, gotta be. Although there isn't This is nine, Gen nine. Isn't Pokemon 1000 is Goldango? It's Goldango. And does that yeah. mean 999 is? Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. Yeah. Which, who's also showed up this season quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, no doubt, so. no doubt. Um, so. Anyway, who's next? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're just, uh, no, no, well, we're we're just, just like, like making theories out of the air. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> what is happening? The number nine is around, so yeah, right. something is the foot. All right, let's see. Uh, Brylib is up next. They have got uh, five points. Five points, okay. The other kind of fascinating thing is that this is rounding off season eight, which means next season will be season number That's nine. True. So maybe maybe number nine is just trying to like like pose like little indicators as to who like, might feel like people to watch. Oh, season. here we go. Yeah, I got the eyeball Man, energy. The eyeball energy. All right, we have the mind food. The Pharaoh seed does score. Okay. The Gaibal, yeah. the Panpour, the Wug Trio, the Iron Bundle, the Flake Ho Ooh, Oh, okay, oh the, the Toad, toad scroll. scroll! Look at that! And the Palkia! Okay, so, so that's going to clear us of our nines. That'll do it. Unless the Toad Scroll's worth nine. Unless it is worth Which nine. Which could be. Let's see, let's see a number 185 on this set. $3.52. So rounds up to four. So four, five, six times two is going to be 12. There we go. There we go. That is going to be 17 on the season for Brylive. Well done, Brylive. Well go. done indeed. Nice. And to get that Toad Scroll coming your way, which actually is a uh, viable card. People have been playing this to take down Charizards. There we go. Okay. Don't okay. you know? Would have been really point. interesting if it was to take down Blastoise. <laughs> that would be, yeah. <laughs> like, huh? Whoa. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, you can relate everything back to nine if you try hard enough. Yeah, everything is nines, right? Here we go. Next up is Methy. Methy. It has got 10 points. 10 already. points, okay, okay. So they're so just blowing it out of the water, basically. Well clear. Well clear of the nine. Let's see, so let's see what we can do. There's no way to get negative points this season. So nope. we got our Teardrop Energy, the Loudred, the Remoraid, the Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo the, the Zubat, Zubat, the Slitherwing, the, the Gorgeist, the Tatsugiri, the Guybull will not score, the Chantal will not score, and the Deoxys will score will, twice. So one, two, three, four, five points for 15 go. on the season. 15 on the season for Methy. Not a bad showing at all for Methy. Well done. Thank you for the support and for playing. Yeah, yeah. All right, next up we have Veva. Veva. Veva has got four points on the season. They cross stitch for fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What are they going to pull today? We've got the metal energy. So uh, the Tinka Tink will score. Tandem Mouse, Bubble. Wait, what's happening? I yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think I pulled from the back and I was like, what's going on? All right, Ferrothorn, Knackle Stack, Porygon 2, and Iron Moth. So just a two-point pack. There we go. I saw a hilarious cross-stitch yesterday that this is just a warning that I'm willing to stab something a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Way to, way to spin cross-stitch. I know, yeah. Make, make, like, like, I, there's something so unexpected about slightly mean cross-stitch because yeah, it right. seems like such a like otherwise happy. I know, so it's like a gentle thing. You end up with like a plush animal thing at the end, right? Right. Or I think that's like, it's like the flat, you know, like it's like yeah. a ring and you, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Indeed. All right. Uh, yeah, what am I thinking of? Crochet? Crochet! Yeah. yeah. Yes. Possibly? Yes. All right. Next up we have Stacy who has nine points. Nine points. How about that, Stacy? The good news is you can't possibly end with nine points. <laughs> that's but right. if you ended up with 18, it would be interesting. That'd be crazy. Let's see here. So we'll put our code card to the side. We got a raucous pummeling energy right there. We got the Jirachi, what doesn't do it? Knockly, the Knackly, the Parasol Lady, the Porygon, the Ambipon, the Snorlax doll, the Tinkaton will score, the Iron Bundle will not, the Zubat will, and the Volcanion. 
So just three, three points. To 12 for the season. There, we there you are. go, Stacy. Enjoy your uh, Volcanian. 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 All right, next up we have Master Lauren. Master Lauren. Master Archivist. Master Archivist. L O R I N. We have Met Lauren, I R L, yeah, at have. RTX. Yeah, we have. That's in real life at RTX, Rooster yeah. Teeth X. <laughs> A conference in yes. Austin, Texas. Super fun. See you next year. There we go. All right, next up, uh, we have a water energy for Lauren. They've got four points on the season. We've got the Blitzel, the Boon Sweep, Fee Bass. I cannot hold the cards today. Apom, Countercatcher, Masquerade, the Dublade won't score, the Steelix won't, and the Porygon Z. Oh. oh, I think the Steelix will. Steelix oh, will. I'm sorry, yes. you're right. Steelix will. I was like, uh oh, the Porygon Z, the dreaded worst pack in the set. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, but no, you got two points. There we so. go. There you go, you have dodged disaster, I guess, for a six point season, Lauren. That's true, that's true. Enjoy that Porygon. There you go, and the Steelix. Bam, all right, next up we have got Marcos. I feel like we got some potential energy building right now. You think you so? Know, yeah. Marcos has 33 points. Marcos, okay, so 33, <laughs> which means that this does, Marcos is directly beneath Doe on the oh. leaderboard. So um, Marcos could, yeah, can mess with eighth place pretty good. Could mess with eighth, eighth place, would need to score above 41 to do so. Yes. Or at least tie 41. And we got the metal energy there, but the not to will score. score, the purloin won't. <laughs> Mindfu, Pharaoh Seed will score. Vanillox, Defiance Vest, Veluza, the Pansage will not score. The Not To gives uh -oh, us a critical, critical hit. hit on the <clears throat> Ting Lu. Oh, it's going to be so close, isn't it? It is. So it's going to be one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight. Eight, eight, eight points. Well, so what does wow. that do for us? They were at 33, so, so they're at 41. 41, wow, okay. That's exactly what they needed. Wow, so that technically, depending <laughs> now, so give me their point breakdown 28, 5, 8. 28, Five, eight. Okay, and uh, the blue Swede has 116, 24. So I think there's a decent possibility that the blue Swede is now is now in eighth place. Is in eighth place. We called it. We, we called, called it. it. We called. We knew it. We knew it could happen. Technically, there's a little bit of math that could still happen there. So don't take us at our word until we're able to do more in-depth review. But. Um, it's close. It's close. It's, it's close. right there. All right, next up we have another mod, Ben. It's Dakota. Dakota. Let's Poor see. Dakota has always, I feel, has, struggled. Has um, not had a good run in this game historically. Their best finish ever is 12 points back in season three. Right now they're looking at about four points on <laughs> this season. So let's see what we can do for Dakota. Come on, Dakota. <laughs> you know, the other mods have been breaking down, you know, um, breaking down the curse. Well, and along with Doe, Dakota does uh, gaming with us once a month, which is available at patreon.com slash supercommongaming. If you'd ever like to come and face off with us in some Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or something similar. That's right. Cloth, oh boy, doesn't look good so far. Oh dear. Oh, Dick's okay, Cloud, oh no, and <laughs> Steelix, oh no, Dakota, Dakota so oh, no. sorry. Down to one point for five. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is terrible, it's not even four. It's not even four, which could have been, <laughs> could, could have been. been. I mean, you're already at four, so it's, that's just unfortunate, man. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Poor sorry, Dakota. Dakota, there we go. Mm. One day, one, one day. day. Well, I think she's just biding her time, and right. at some point it's gonna be it's gonna be just like fireworks. Be fireworks. That's what we're waiting for. That's exactly. what we're waiting for. And it'll be it'll it'll mean so much more because we waited. We waited. That's right. You put you really put in the effort. Yes, you know? that's right. Right, you know, you could you can put in a ton of effort and raise the temperature from a, a room from one degrees to, to thirty one and, and the ice cube uh, still, still, still won't melt. But yeah. the second you get to thirty three, boof water. Boom. You know? Boom. You think like about that. that. You just gotta think about that. that. All right, next up is uh, Ben's probably sister-in-law, Sammy. Sammy. All Who's right, who has got eight points. Playing from Barcelona today. Yeah. That's where Sammy oh. is currently on vacation. All right, it's your okay, call. I'm for going, all right. For, your sister. For sister-in-law, yeah. Sammy here. But actually not really. This, this yeah, person, no. Sammy, is like, wow, I've gotten such an interesting <laughs> fun fact attached to my existence. <laughs> Let's see, how is she going to do with eight points? Probably one point if mm. the nines have anything well, to say about true. it. True, we got the Octillery, the Golbat, the Larry, the Yamas, the okay. Durant Durant, oh, the, the Earthen, Earthen vessel, vessel, the Medical Energy, the Remoraid. Oh, oh, look at that Iron Moth! That's that so cool! Super cool looking. I love it! So we got the Slitherwing mm -hmm. last, last episode, time. and so this is that was the ancient version. This is the future version. Yep. Um, so that is truly gorgeous, and then the, and low, then the kicks. low kick. So let's see the Iron Moth here. It's number yes. 187 on the set. 
Let's see what that does. 187. It's going to be worth $4.84. So five, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. I'll tell you what though, my page over here is is where we, we it, it's, it's bleeding wow. positively. I, mean, yeah, I must pull everything. I know, most of the stuff we haven't pulled. Except for the Illustrator Rare. I know, it could uh, happen, it could happen. So we got 17 points on the season for Sammy via the Iron Moth, which got her nine points on the day, as ever. All right, here we go. Heartbeat is up next. Boom, boom. They've got six points. Coming in to the match. Heartbeat, ooh ha ha. That's a fun yeah. reference. Yeah, 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 I got it. <laughs> I think For you sure. did, yeah. I've seen it a few we, times. we grew up in the same house. Yeah. We made a few videos about that movie. All right, Dark Teardrop, Galvantula, Mantike, Pansage, The Minin, The Ancient Booster, The Cyclozar, Professor Turo, Aegis Slash, Philittle Score, and Chi Yu. So just two points on the pack. Sadly, going to bring us to eight on the season. Not even nine, Heartbeat. Not Jeez, even nine. Jeez, come on. Wow. Join the party. Breaking the trend. Here we go. Megan K is up next. They've got five points on the season. Give it a wiggle for luck. Give it a wiggle. Spit for luck. All right, let's see here. So we got the oh, eyeball energy. Oh, there we so go. We got, we got a two, multiplier. Got the two times multiplier. We got the Geibel, the Panpour, the Blitzel, the Boon Sweet, the Technical Machine Turbo Energize, mm. the Wug Trio. Nothing I've missed so far, nope, right? Yeah, nope. Yeah, no, okay. no critical hits. Technical Machine Blindside, the Masquerade will not score. Technical mm. Machine De Evolution. Three different TMs. Jeez. Man. Okay. And oh, the oh, Parasol Lady. Lady. That's so fun. That is such a okay. great card. Man, that's not the. Oh, we have pulled the alt art of this. I want to say that's what. Um, Launched one of our early player, early rounders up into first place, but this is the just the full art version. This is the full art version, or ultra rare version that is. So um, it is the first one, at least that I have marked that we've pulled so far. And okay. Jay, it is worth eight dollars and thirty cents. It's worth nine. <laughs> nine points. <laughs> nine times two is eighteen points. Eighteen. Okay. Way to go, Megan. Go. All right. So that is going to bring them to. Twenty-three points on the season. I think this is an underrated uh, value or undervalued car. Undervalued card. indeed. It's it's just a delight. Yeah. Although parasol, as we have since pointed out in this season, para means four and sol means sun, so four sun. Yeah, and this know, is which, clearly being used in the yeah, rain. This is, this is a full blown rain situation. Mm -hmm. with the, with the That's yellow. an umbrella. Yeah, yeah. They're different. Yeah. As yeah. people have on this very channel so aggressively pointed out to me. This is false. This is false. Because I didn't know what a parasol was once upon a time. That's, that's why okay. That's why it means something You know now. Those, those who know, know. Hey, we all didn't know what a parasol was at <laughs> no, one point. That's or true, no. yeah. <laughs> all right, next up is Lady Starlight, who has got eight points. <laughs> eight points, okay. I don't oh, want to say it feels like a one-point pack, but, it, I mean, you it know. It kind of does. You, you have hands to get... hands, my hands <laughs> say one. We're going to see. We'll see, Lady Starlight. Hopefully it's better than that. Hopefully it's not a Porygon Z. Here we go. Fireball energy. <laughs> Hopefully it's, it's not a bad Porygon. <laughs> or a Gorya, Toad School. Vanillite, Earthworm, Absol, Simi Sierra, Flamigo, the Tandos. Oh, oh the just in the last Bernier. second. Wow, the Bob okay. Bernier. Okay, that was so. I was like, man, what are the odds? What are the odds? We have pulled one this season. Comes in at $2.45 rounds. So up to three. Three. All right, there you go. So that is going to be uh, 11. 11 points on the season for Lady Starlight. There we go. Well done. Enjoy that bomb birdier. Very, Boom. very pretty card. Yes. Oh, there's, there's enjoy our how much it is in a pouring on. Yeah, enjoy. Yes, yes. Right? That's that's its primary characteristic at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bombard ears are famously not Porygons. Uh, next up we have Ethereal Squirrel! Eth Squirrel, who I, uh, I last think season? won last season. They yeah. had 64, yeah, right there, on their single pack. I think that was the champion last season. So Eth Squirrel coming in with only three points, so maybe going for last place? Let's see here. All right, so we got the they got the Salad Energy, the Maybe they do want the Porygon. Skit, the Wimser, the Flamigo, the Porygon, there it is again. The Steeny, the Glasgore, the Absol, the Semipore will not score. Oh, the Gold Garchomp! So not a Porygon at all! Gold. And the Zatu, which actually be worth two, just 
As a, so we say it out loud. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's see here. So Look at that gold guard charm. That is pretty sweet. Number 260 on the set. Let's Wait, see is, what that This has been like does. the month of guard charm. It really has. So I think it's our first one that we've pulled. Man. Uh, $13.90 will round up to 14 15, 16. 16, so what does that do for them there, overall? That is going to put them at 19 points. Oh, tied with Big Steve. Tied with Big Steve, man. But you get the gold Garchomp, which is already a great prize. That is indeed, so, yeah. there yeah, you I mean, go. That's, that's well worth the pack you paid for right there any which way, so. What F squirrel, having some great, having a great couple of seasons here, taking I, home a the Chomp and a first place. I know, seriously, yeah. So well well done to F Squirrel, who I believe also it does very well on our trivia nights whenever oh, we you're right. on Super Carly. Or is that White Squirrel? Oh, maybe it is White Squirrel. Maybe it's the same person. Okay, like like varying degrees of squirrel. Yeah, it depends on the game. <laughs> yeah, what, right. What kind of squirrel they are that day. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Rachel! Rachel! Alright, Rachel's got five oh, points. One second. Oops. All right, Rach, let's see what you got. Salad Energy, the Snorunt, the Knackle Stack, the Plusle, the Dottler, the Mian Shao, the Rika, the Screamtail will score, the Dwebel will not, the Galvantula will not, and the Chimpow will. So that is going to be a two point pack. Two point pack. For Rach. That is going to be seven total. There we go. Okay. On well done, Rach. There you go. All good? Yep, we're good. Next up is Reagan. Reagan. Reagan, who's coming in with three points. So maybe hoping for that uh, that one point pack for a last place situation. I wrote down their set value earlier this season, but I cannot read it. I think it's 20 cents. Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. That's right. All right, so we've got the Teardrop Energy, the Phoebus, the Apom, the Galvantula, the Mantike, the Iron Bundle. Man, I swear last week we were reading a lot of Eyeball Energies. I know. Like, I and swear. now it's all water. Yeah. Now it's all water, yeah. We've got the Techno Radar, the Counter Catcher, the Porygon. Porygon is everywhere. The Gabite, and oh, oh the Ring Moon! Not the Illustrator one, but perhaps it's just setting the stage. Maybe so. We know this one's still worth like nine, point, nine points, maybe. Well, let's see, and number 124, $17.78. Oh, I'm so sorry. 18 it's points. worth 18 points. Gosh, and there's nothing else that's Yeah, let's just double check just because that would be bad. Okay, yep, no, I think that's it. That's Sorry. it. How much was it? 18? 18. 18 points, which is going to bring their total up to 21 on the season. 21 on the season. Okay, so. that Roar Moon. There we go. That's Gosh. very cool. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, what we're looking for again is that yeah, is the Illustrator the Rare. One. The big version. The big daddy. All right, next up we have Lauren. No modifier, just Lauren. Just, just Lauren. Just Lauren. Wait, no, actually, I think we have. Do we have somebody whose name is just Lauren? Oh, we have another Lauren. <laughs> another Lauren. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah, we need a. We need a just Lauren. A just Lauren. Yeah. yeah. Just so Lauren. if you're if you're a Lauren who's who's watching but not currently playing, we need you. You could be just Lauren. You could be just Lauren. Yeah. Which, not to confuse anyone else <laughs> anymore, but this is Lauren. Uh, she's got six points on the season and the eyeball energy. Let's see something so we, big. We got a multiplier. Let's see it. We got the Charcadet, the Swablu, Pansier, Wiglet, the Crobat. Now we're looking for Zubat, Rourke, Steeny, Mela, the Wiglet. Oh, it's a. Oh, Ben, it's a. Gosh, it's a four times multiplier pack because we have the multiplier and the critical hit here on the Wiglet. But how much is it going to do? Oh, oh no, Lord. just the low gen. No, that's a real bummer. That's a four it's point, a four point low low gen. gen. Oh, man, that could have been huge. That could have been, but it been. wasn't. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, yeah, if that if that had been the Roaring Moon, that would have set the all time. I uh, know, that would have been 400 for, th for then points. and for always. I know, like, like who could possibly beat it? Golly. All right, well, here we go. Next up, we've got Dalton Green. Dalton Miss Green. Oh, man, Dalton Green, who is, of course, uh, Blue Swede's rival, so. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be hilarious if this landed them in eighth place? <laughs> this would be so funny. If, what? If somehow... got six, yeah, Dalton Green has six points right now. What's eighth place? So, I think, would 42 do it? Maybe? Oh, because it's been moving around. It's been moving around a little bit, yeah. So we're, we're kind of like a weird spot right now where I believe... So they just did a 38-point pack. Just a 38-point pack. No problem. That's all we're looking for. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. There's yeah. the Dark Teardrop Energy right off the top. we got the Seedra, the Magby, the Vanillite, the Oricorio, the Simisage, the Norman, the Orthworm, the Toad School, the Simisir, yeah. and Morpeko. Oh, so not quite 38 points, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Unfortunately, we missed not. the mark by just a smidge there. Dalton Green lands it. Seven. Seven. The Blue Swede uh, gets to walk away victorious, victorious this season. This time, However, yeah. there is always next time. That, there 
is. Next up, we've got Berkeley Comstock coming in with 18 points themselves. So actually, it could be Big Steve contender. Okay. I suppose here, right? They uh, only get two points off this pack, which feels pretty doable. Let's see, what have we got here? Rock is pummeling off the top, the Toxel, the Lipard, the Wimpod, the Elekid, Minior, Crocolore, Plossel, Nicket, and the Serena. That might just be, well, I don't know. Well, let's, let's check the Serena, because it could be, I feel like it's one point, but I suppose it's possible it's a two point card. Dollar two, yes, yeah, so we'll round up to two. Two oh, points. Good rounding lands them at 20. <clears throat> oh wow, okay, so yeah. that's, that's not a bad place to be in. So again, we're gonna have to go to the math to figure out where everybody is standing in yeah. terms of that, that final uh, Big Steve position. Yes, we will. But that is now yet another person who is in actual proper contention for the award. Man, that's craziness. Well done, Berkeley. All right, next up, we have got E.K. Scow. E.K. Scow. E.K. Scow, dang it. I really went for it. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to be so good. Oh, look, I got it. We need you a mega it. compilation of you failing at it. E.K. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it says he case go like though, and I always still just read it as thou. I'm like, okay, it doesn't help. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just like, dying. Oh my gosh. Like though, I'm gonna write that. Like though, not uh, like like <laughs> like though, like how? How did you write that? Okay, just okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, EK Sco. They always are like such a player too. It's never just like some throwaway, like random person. <laughs> always been, got a lot happening. They've been, they've been around since the beginning. I it's know. Just like, what does that commitment get me? The guy doesn't even know how to say my name. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh man, I that literally filled my whole day with laughter. So either which way, EK Sco, we do appreciate you. Uh, we got the raucous pumping energy, the pan sage, the mining, the snow runt, the knackle stack, the masquerade, the ancient booster energy capsule, the cyclozar. I'm double checking right now just to be sure. Uh, the honed edge will not score. The tinka tink will not we'll, we'll score. Will score. It will score. Yeah. I'm sorry. The, and the espathra will score twice. Yeah. So, so three points, Sco. <laughs> three points, Sco. Yeah. There we go. For oh a my total gosh. of. Nine. We, did, <laughs> we didn't even need something big to happen. That, that pack was already fun. All right, no it's matter packed what. with amusement no matter what. All right, next up is Jazzy J Truther, who was sitting eighth place for a while and is right now at 30 points. Yes, indeed, yeah. So I think that there's at least a, a decent possibility to get into that eighth place competition. Um, probably looking for, for at least 41 points, I think. Mm, so you have an 11 uh, point pack here. Right? Yeah, we, we will know at the end of the episode, unfortunately, whether or not they're in it, but uh, the Zubstriker will scores. score. Yep. We haven't seen a lot of those. No, we have not. Luxurious Cape, the Trubbish, the Magby, and oh, the Iron Valiant! Valiant. Okay. okay, so that could do something for you. Could do it, yeah. I think that is like a nine-point card. <laughs> yeah. It is, in fact, a nine-point card. Nine eight, points! Eight dollars, ninety-four cents. So it's a ten-point pack. Oh, oh wow. Right. So right to 40. He's going to oh tie gosh. with, um, let's see here, Mott's on the leaderboard. Man, but that is so close. It's so close. But at the same rate, it means that they've pulled good cards. So yeah. it's like, even if you're not getting the, the quality eighth place award, you're still you're still taking home some Yeah, I mean, Jazzy Dutch Ruther here has been putting up numbers. Their last four packs have been 14, 14, 16, and 10. Man. So they're on a, they're, even though they're not hitting huge things, they're hitting stuff. They're hitting stuff. Every time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I mean, good. definitely getting your getting your money's worth out of it. There you go. Uh Opal Tano is next. Rookie this season looks like. They have got what 23 points so far on the season. That's pretty solid. Very solid indeed. Let's see if we can we can make anything interesting happen here. We've got the fireball energy. We've got the swablu, the pan seer, the nicket, the glygar, the toad scroll, the screen tail. Technical machine de-evolution. Uh, is it de-evolution or devolution? De-evolution. De-evolution. It feels like we're yeah. missing an E. It does, kind of. The future booster energy capsule will not score. The iron jugulus will, will score. And the Mewtwo. Mewtwo. I think it's a two-point card, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, let's, yeah. Let's number, double cheek. Number 58 on the set is $1.40, so two-point card. We'll sleeve it up for you. I'm going to bring them so. to 27 on the season. Great rookie season for Opal Tano there. Absolutely. Like, way to enter the fray and just prove that you are, you are a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. People are going to have to keep an eye out on uh, probably a Ahsoka's apprentice yeah, in the right. future. There we go. There we go. Well done. You two coming your way. All right, let's see. Let me 
adjust my cards over here. All right, next up we have got Bubsy. Bubsy! What is Bubsy going to get up to today? They, uh, he has got four points coming in to the day, so probably not gonna get last place, unfortunately. Yeah, probably not. I mean, at bare yeah. minimum, we'll hit five points. Yep. Um, so if anything, you just hope to hope to see him go bigger. So the Tinker Tap will score. Tinker we know that. Trubbish, Crustle, Onyx. That was last week. Tulip, Dondozo, Chantel, Boon Sweet, Booster Energy, Kingdra, Wills. Oh, that's it. The last card. Kingdra, <laughs> like, oh, is there one more? No. Oh, man. It's no. just two, four, just two. six point total for Bubs. There we go. There you go. Well played, well played. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your cards. Yep. All right, next up we've got Heather Lynn. Heather Lynn. They have got, uh, Heather has seven points so far. <clears throat> Heather, let's see if we can get two. I yeah, know, for the for the big nine. All right, so we got the, got the Metal Energy, we got the Plusle, the Dotler, the Toxel, the Livehard, the Professor Turos, the Mian Shao, the Rika, the Elekid. So many score. electrics. The oh, Livehard, live okay, critical that, hit. We got a critical hit on the table, and then, but just with just the, the Glycopod. Oh so, no. So just two, two points. Two, four, nine! Nine! <laughs> Math, math, math. I could, like can't make this up. I know it's it unbelievable. Because so this is the third box, and it wasn't like the other ones were all landing at nines. No, no, I know. This like, is, what is this is wild. It's just the group. All right, and that brings us to our final competitor of the day. It is Chrysara, who probably has blades for hands. Who currently has nine points. So at least we know they won't end with nine they points. They won't end with nine points, but will they end with 110 points? Oh yeah, because they're a black belt, so that's probably why we have knives for hands. Maybe, possibly. Yeah, I mean, Chrysara just sounds like, it's, it's right there in the name. Right. You know, like Scyther or something. All right, let's see it. Let's see something big. Let's go. That's not uh, gonna get a multiplier, but the Flittle will score. Nicket, Knackley, Nimble, a lot of ends. Garboder, Technical Machine Evolution, Durant, Thievel does score, Espathra does score, and Melodic will score. So one, two, three, four, five. Five points. Five points to round us out off of the nine to start with is gonna be 14 on the season, the season, Chrysara. There we go, oh my gosh. And we'll close out right there. What a day, Carly lives to fight for another one. Oh my one. gosh, but there's just one just box left. Is the Roaring Moon in this box? I have to tune in next week to find out because we don't know either. We don't know either. As ever, y'all, if you would like to see us open a pack for you in a future episode, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. We would absolutely <coughs> to crack some packs for you. Uh, but otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!